on young people to uh, vote in the coming elections. And today, some of those candidates got to talk to students directly. A 13 News reporter, Andres Rendon, uh, went to the U of A campus where these uh, young voters spoke up. The roundtable discussion was hosted by the Arizona Students Association, a nonpartisan organization that helps to empower the student voice, a rather strong group in the country when it comes to voting. Young voters were a crucial part of Arizona's last governor race with fewer than 20,000 votes deciding the outcome. But the race is coming down to a slim margin. Young voters say getting out to vote is more important than ever. We are the next generation. We are going to be the future politicians and it really matters that we start taking a stance now and there's already been so much damage from previous politicians and previous uh, people who have had such an impact on us and now it's our turn to kind of try to make a better future for our future youth. Filling out a ballot may be a new experience for many students and while voting for the first time is always a thrill, there is a concern about keeping that momentum going to have all young registered voters make their voices heard. Last election day, less than half of the 28 million people from 18 to 24 years old actually registered to vote. The number of those who actually voted was even smaller, only 7.3 million. Tim Cossey, the director of the Youth Empowerment Caucus, says the focus may need to shift away from just the person in office. I think we definitely need to have more issue-oriented rallies or caucuses like this to reach the 18 to 24 uh, youth vote, which are vitally important in our elections, um, again, because they vote for issues, not candidates. Stations were set up to discuss some important topics in politics right now, like health policy and LGBTQ plus issues. Students also had the chance to register to vote and to learn how to mobilize, giving students from any political affiliation the skills to organize and to select a candidate that fits their beliefs best. Like there's so many different issues and things happening that it's important to be informed on like both sides of the spectrum and see where you stand and how you feel about certain decisions. Reporting from the University of Arizona, Andres Rendon, 13 News.